This skirt steak recipe is a fan favorite and a family favorite too. And sure, that meat is delicious, but this buttermilk brine is gonna sneak in and steal the show. So this flavor-packed brine, you're gonna start the day before, and it all comes together in a baggie. So we're gonna start with, of course, delicious buttermilk. And to that, I'm gonna add the juice and zest of a lime. I have brown sugar, salt, ground black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, great chili powder, and some smoked paprika. You're gonna wanna just take this and massage it a little bit to help those spices dissolve and get mixed in there. And then we're gonna add our skirt steak. You know, skirt steak is a delicious cut of beef. This is about two pounds, but this recipe is easy to scale to make a little more, a little less. Now, by putting it in the bag, it's keeping everything in one spot. And then again, give it a little shake to make sure that everything is equally coated. You're gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight. If you think of it, turn the bag once in a while to ensure that the steak stays submerged, but that's all you have to do. Tomorrow, you're gonna to come back and cook it. So the overnight rest in this buttermilk brine has done a number of delicious things. One is it has given this steak lots of flavor from all of those aromatic spices, but the buttermilk is what is gonna make it tender and flavorful because nothing does a better job of tenderizing meat than good old fashioned buttermilk. So I've drained off the brine, it's done its job, we've discarded it, and we've blotted the meat dry, and now it goes into the skillet. I've got this on medium-high heat, and I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of oil, just a few drops to avoid sticking. You don't wanna make the oil too deep because we're searing the steak, not frying it. Now, working in batches to avoid adding too many pieces of steak at one time, we're gonna lay this in the hot pan. Hear that sound? That's exactly what you want. If you don't hear anything, your pan's not hot enough. Searing is easy because you really don't do anything other than put it in the pan and then wait patiently for two or three minutes until it's beautifully brown on the bottom. So this steak is pretty evenly seared on both sides. Every bit of the delicious brown residue that's built up while the meat was cooking is flavor packed. You don't want to waste a drop. So I like to take my tongs and sort of mop the pan a little bit with the meat to soak up every bit of this delicious goodie. And then we're gonna put it on a plate. So one of the secrets to a great steak, no matter how you cook it, is to be patient and let it rest for at least five minutes before you cut into it. That gives it time to cool off, slow down, take a breath and absorb the delicious juices so that they stay in the steak instead of running out all over the plate. Nothing goes with this steak better than a good salad. And this one features a dressing made with buttermilk. And then we're gonna add a little bit of sour cream, some mayonnaise, zest and juice of a lime. You always wanna include that delicious zest because that's where the flavor is. Then we're gonna add some chopped jalapeno or serrano. If you wanna make it a little zippier, you leave in the seeds. If you wanna tame it down just a little bit, take those seeds out. We have some chopped scallions good fresh garlic, salt, pepper, and then the two magic ingredients. One is honey. Now the honey is not gonna make it sweet. It's gonna balance everything. It actually makes the savory ingredients taste even better. And then one of my favorite ingredients ever. This is a green hot sauce. It's milder than the red hot sauces. It's almost fruity. It's got some vinegar. It is gonna tie all of this together. And I'm gonna give it a good shake and then put in one last thing, some avocado. All I did was peel and pit an avocado and mash it up with a fork and it goes right in the jar. And this dressing's ready to go. 
So we're starting with a good wedge of crisp iceberg lettuce. Sometimes you need a good wedge of lettuce that can hold up to all these delicious ingredients. And I'm gonna give it a generous drizzle of our avocado dressing. And then add some tomatoes, some beautiful sweet red bell pepper, a little bit of onion, a touch more avocado, because really, can you have too much avocado? And if you're inclined, a generous sprinkle of some crisp cooked bacon. Now, all this plate needs is one of our steaks. And if you think it needs just a tiny bit more dressing, put a little around on the sides. And there you have it. That is a great supper. And you know why? I use buttermilk. So I can't wait to taste this. I'm going in for a bite of steak, a little bit of this dressing. It's amazing what buttermilk does. The meat is tender, it's full of flavor, it's juicy, it's tangy. It is everything all in one good bite. I'm telling you, buttermilk is a steak's best friend.